Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm base box for the month of January 2022. Happy New Year, everybody. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. Thank you so much, BoxyCharm, for sending me this to try out with you guys today. So let's go ahead and dive right in. BoxyCharm's theme this month is Refresh. I love this card. It's so pretty and so cute. Looks like a lot of skincare and natural products and just fruit and it looks very tasty the first item this would be the choice item and this is by wander beauty and it's the wanderous escape eyeshadow palette this is what the palette looks like Ooh, wow those are some really pretty shades i'm so excited about this and the palette's a little bit bigger than i was expecting but this shimmer shade, ooh, and this blue, guys, I am gonna be swatching this with you guys. This palette features hyaluronic acid to help skin retain moisture and rosehip seed oil to help smooth out dry skin. This palette includes a mixture of neutral and bold colors with shimmer, satin, and matte finishes that are crease proof for all day wear, and it retails for $42. Let's go ahead and play around with some swatches. Here are all the colors swatched, so pretty. The formula is definitely very buttery and I'm really surprised at how soft it is and it applies very easily and it's very pigmented, especially the shimmer shades. Those are such a great metallic formula and they glide on so smooth. Same with the mattes. The mattes aren't as creamy and buttery as the metallic shades and the shimmery shades, but they're definitely very creamy for a matte. So I like that. All of these show up with their color pretty nicely and I'm really happy with this formula. The next product we've got in here is by Dragon Beauty, and this is the Lip Job Liner and Lip Pencil Sharpener. Contour, reshape, and create your ultimate lip fantasy with this extra, extra, extra long lip pencil. Ultra moisturizing and hydrating, this formula serves fuller lips needles free. Keep your lip job liners on point with the single blade Dragon Beauty logo sharpener and it retails for $18 for this set. I like that it comes with the sharpener, so it's like a two in one. Here is the sharpener. I mean, I will be completely honest, the sharpener kind of looks really cheap. I like that this comes and is attached though. A lot of sharpeners do not come attached and they can easily just fall off and get lost. The only thing about this being plastic and it's already creasing is it's probably gonna break eventually but nice and handy I like how tiny it is it's good for traveling and this lip pencil is definitely longer than a normal pencil comparing this to one of my other lip pencils that's how much larger it is so if you go through your lip liners you will probably be a big fan of these because I'm sure they will last you a lot longer the formula seems nice and soft and buttery it just glides right on it is also a pretty brown nude shade. I like it. I can't wait to try this out. Sorry guys, some of these things I won't be testing out on myself tonight only because I just did my makeup. <laughs> the next product we've got in here is the Aesthetica Cream Contour Kit. This kit contains six blendable silky creams that are designed to accentuate, define, and highlight your face. Three contour shades for sculpting and three highlight creams to enhance your favorite features. This kit includes removable and refillable pans packaged in a travel friendly friendly mirrored palette specifically formulated for fair to dark skin tones. So it's nice that it's for everybody. We'll see when I open it and it retails for $40. So this came in this to keep it together and then plastic, so lots of packaging and then a slip cover. It's like when you open one of those boxes, and there's like one tiny box at the bottom of like 10 boxes. So this is interesting. It actually comes with instructions. When have you ever gotten a contour kit that came with a booklet of instructions? That's kind of cool. And it comes with a face chart as well. So you can see how to use it if you're not familiar with contouring. So nice for a beginner. And then we got a little face chart in here as well. That's really cool. Usually it's just a piece of plastic that's clean with nothing on it so that is definitely really cool this is the kit honestly guys I feel like if you have really fair skin 
I don't know if this would work for you. And if you have really dark skin, I don't know if this would work for you. It is a pretty good variety of shades, but I feel like it's missing like the beginning and the end. It would be cooler if they had a way lighter shade and a way darker shade, just so everybody can use it. I'm actually not gonna swatch this with you guys today. It is a very nice palette. I don't really use cream contours too, too much. So I'm gonna debate on if I'm gonna keep this or not. I might use it for a future giveaway or something. We'll see if I end up keeping it. I might just do a separate video showing you guys how to use it and everything, but I'm a little bit undecided. So I'm just going to put this to the side for now. The next product that I've got in here, I'm so happy to see this. I love seeing Earth Harbor products in our boxes. I feel like they're nice products and I do really like the brand. Today's video shout out word is super fruit. If you comment super fruit down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. This is the Nymph Nectar superfruit radiance balm as sea fruits and tropical superberries playfully melt across your face with this balm they insert a lively abundance of vitamin c a e and k omegas amino acids and numerous other bioactives necessary to achieving your best bounciest dewiest skin yet and it retails for 38 dollars oh is this my lighting no this is not you guys see that is that normal? Uh, there's little white bumps all over the inside of the packaging. I hope this is still good. Um, 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 um. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. It smells kind of nice. There's like little pieces of stuff on the rim and the inner part of the bomb. It almost looks like it's like mold growing. Hmm, I don't know guys. I was having a hard time capturing it on video, but here's a photo so you guys don't think I'm crazy. All right, I'm just gonna stick my finger in a little bit. I'm gonna try it out. I like the smell. It kind of smells a little bit like peachy, but there's like crystals in it. I mean, as you rub it more, I guess they disintegrate. I don't know if it's a formula issue where it's not completely stable, where like if you let coconut oil sit for too long in a jar, I guess it kind of gets like a moldyish look to it because it hardens in these little crystals. I I don't know if that's what's happening or if this is bad. I don't know. I'll have to reach out to the company just to make sure. Once I apply it to my skin though, it gives a nice sheen. But when I first applied this, it did feel like there were crystals in there, which wasn't the most pleasant feeling. But once it's worked into the skin and warmed up, that's what I don't know. Does it have to be warmed up or is this like mold in here? I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, it smells nice. It definitely feels hydrating. So I'm excited to use it. I don't know how this is going to be on my face. I will try it out because I'm very curious to see how it is, but I do have oily skin. So I'm hoping it's not gonna like break me out, but there's so many great ingredients in it that if I break out, then I break out. And then, you know, I'll just use it as like a dry skin balm on my arms and my elbows and all that. Sadly, we are on our last item for the box today, guys. I'm actually really surprised with this box. There's a lot of makeup in here. This is by Pure Cosmetics. It's their fully charged mascara powered by magnetic technology. Technology. The fully charged mascara is powered by a revolutionary magnetic polymer matrix that wraps a positively charged elastic veil around each lash to instantly lift, separate, and define for unparalleled performance. Fortified with a specialized blend of ingredients such as nourishing vitamin B, this mascara helps condition and strengthen eyelashes to help prevent premature lash loss. And it retails for $22. Honestly, guys, premature lash loss, hard to say because everybody loses their lashes on a cycle so everybody's lashes technically fall out but yeah so this is the mascara maybe i'll do a separate video on this on seeing if it's actually anything amazing it sounds kind of interesting i haven't really heard of too many mascaras that do this but i know like magnetic stuff in makeup has recently become a thing and it's also vegan friendly nice and gluten free so this is the mascara honestly reading all about this and everything i'm a little bit disappointed with the packaging. I mean, the text is kind of cool, but it just feels like any other mascara. I wish there was something like magnetic waves on it or something to like make it stand out and electrify you. Something to give the packaging a little bit of life to it because it sounds like a really cool mascara. So I wish they put a little bit more thought into just a plain back packaging. The text is cool, but also kind of just a little bit basic at the same time. Sounds pretty innovative. Innovative packaging would have been really cool with this. All right, guys. So here is my box. What did you guys think? 
everything. Let me know down below. Are you guys excited for your base boxes this month? I'm actually truly really excited. I don't know what's going on, but with Ipsy and BoxyCharm, Ipsy this month I was kind of on the fence. But next month, it seems like the beauty boxes are starting to get a little bit better. I don't want to jinx it, so knock on wood. But I've been really excited about a lot of the spoilers lately, and I feel like this box was a really nice box, a nice assortment. I'm very happy to see all these palettes in here. The skincare was different. It wasn't a serum. The eyeshadows, the formulas were great. Even the lip formula was pretty nice. This box was also 1.4 pounds. So if you guys are looking on your shipment facts, that was the weight for this box. Let me know what you guys picked for your choice item and what you guys are excited to see or what you guys hope you'll get down below in the comments. I'm excited to hear your guys' thoughts, but I think this box was definitely a win. And if you don't get something in your box, hopefully you'll be able to shop the sale and hopefully they'll have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.